Step three, prep on-premise VMware environment for migration to OpenStack. We now need to prep our on-premise machines for migration from VMware to OpenStack. IBM's OpenStack uses KVM, so we need to inject vert IO pair virtualization drivers into the Windows images. First mount the vert IO disk on your Windows VM as I've done here. We want to pay special attention to the net KVM driver packages and the VIO storage packages. Now navigate to Computer Management, click on Device Manager, right click on your host name and choose Add Legacy Software. Navigate through the wizard and choose Have Disk. From here we want to go back to where we've mounted the VERT I.O. drivers, choose NetKVM, in my case I want to choose Windows 7 and the 32-bit driver, click OK, and then Next, and then continue with installation. We recommend you at least install the NetKVM folder in the bio storage drivers as shown before. Do this for all your Windows VMs. Linux kernels 2.6.25 and above already have built-in support for Vertile hardware, so there's no need to inject Vertile drivers.